All right. I'm beginning again. Let me get my oil. Set my oil over here. Okay. Starting again here with another cleaning video on firearms. Let me take my wool GI surplus wool gloves off here. All right. Let's get the handgun out. Lay down the rag. Because I like to do my cleaning of handguns and rifles for that fact on white rags. That way I can see if like a park or something fell out of it and I'd be able to see it on the white rag. Okay. Cleaning the Heritage Rough Rider single action 22 is very similar to how I cleaned my Smith & Wesson Model 17-3 with the exception of the cylinder. Okay. So what you want to do I got my handgun here bring it up to the camera my tripod is shaking ever so slightly I apologize okay see that metal tab see that gap in the frame and the cylinder right there see that metal tab there it's right in here right there that is the cylinder bolt now what you got to do is you got to take your hammer and bring it down to the second click like that to where that bolt is out of the way see that makes the bolt recess in there if you can all see that the bolt is out of the way and I can freely spin the cylinder you can still hear the paddle back here in the back of the frame engaging the cylinder but that bolt in the bottom that stops it is out of the way and see if we go to the fourth click I'm trying to get this to where you all can see the best see if we go to the fourth click that bolts back up in the way see it there I bring the hammer down I go to the second click and that bolt recessed down in here okay so the bolt is out of the way the cylinder is spinning freely the hammer is in the second notch now what you need to do is you need to open your door back here on the back of the frame like that that's your loading door and you can even run your uh, plunger through like this I know my guns unloaded but if yours isn't and you just need to check like you confirm with your eye you really don't need to run this through, but like I can, I can confirm right there, and so can pretty much anybody else. Let me orient this where you can all see. See that you can see right there. It's it's empty. Yeah, right there. Okay. Now what you need to do is turn your handgun around, and there is a screw here that is captured with a spring. You can all see right there. It's right here. You push this in and when you push this in you pull up on your cylinder rod right there that holds your cylinder in place so you press in like so and pull up on this and this comes all the way out that's your cylinder guide rod hold your cylinder in and then your cylinder will fall out the way that your uh, loading door opens like so like that. Now you've taken the cylinder out of your Heritage Rough Rider Single Action Army 22. Be sure to put this in a place where it won't fall off the table. I think I'm going to set mine right there. That way it doesn't roll off the table and you don't lose it. Okay, I'm going to set the frame handgun aside. I'm going to clean the cylinder first. So I'm going to grab my brush and one of these rags here. Let me get this clean rag. I, I grabbed an assortment of them from the gun room. I'm going to put some oil on it. Okay. Grab a rag, spray some oil on it. Set my can to the side. I'm going to I'm going to scrub down the whole front end of the cylinder here. As you can see, it's caked with powder. It's been about two weeks since I cleaned it. 
I've been lazy. Shame on me. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's filthy. Luckily, I don't run corrosive ammo. I just run regular... I've been just running a Winchester and uh, American Eagle through it. Nothing corrosive. That's why I'm hesitant to shoot like steel case ammo because I even though it may not be corrosive you just don't know and I even on my semi-automatics and bolt guns I try not to run uh, uh, corrosive because the cleaning process is uh, you have to be you have to basically clean them back down to bare metal every time okay gonna hit my rag with oil again gonna wipe down the face of the bolt again or the not bolt uh, cylinder again I'm gonna hit the back end basically just rub the whole thing down soak it in oil And then I'll set my rag down and I'm going to start scrubbing it with the brush. Hit the face. And hit it with the dry part of the rag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some excess filth right in there. Let me find a better dry spot. Oh yeah. This dude was filthy. Now, originally when I bought this handgun, I made an error in stating how many rounds it looked like had been th shot through this handgun prior to me owning it. I did buy it used. But I said like it looked like the guy had shot maybe one or two rounds through it and then put it back up for sale. I made an error there. I meant to say it looked like he shot one to two hundred rounds through it. Because look at the caked powder around these cylinders. I mean this one right here, this bottom one right here where it's got that white line, that is the one that set snug with the end of the barrel. for a long time. Let me get my cell phone flashlight out the, so that way I can show you all better. Get my phone out here real quick. <laughs> it's pretty filthy right up in there. Hope that's catching. But yeah, I mean it wasn't that filthy when I first uh, got it and brought it home and wiped it down. I did this process to it when I got it home. It wasn't that filthy, but I have been myself busy with store running here because of the coronavirus. Running to the stores and you know prepping other things and I just kind of set my handgun down the last time I was out at the cabin shot it I just set it down and didn't really haven't really fiddled with it really been more focused on cleaning my AR and M1A so now I'm getting around to cleaning this and like again like I said that's why I'm glad I don't uh, I don't shoot corrosive because if I did, did shoot corrosive ammo whether it be steel case stuff or surplus, it, I'd say my poor revolver would uh, would be in dire straits. Okay. Oh yeah, look at the back end of it. It's filthy. Just filthy. Now there are going to be some steps that I uh, don't do on this one. In this video because if you go watch my Smith & Wesson video which is in the how to clean firearms playlist on my channel 
you can literally you can literally do some steps for that one that you that you can't for this one and vice versa because the revolvers like cleaning out the cylinders with the the green brush here I don't need to do that for this video because I already showed how to do it for the Smith so you know same thing applies to both 22 long rifle handguns so a 22 long rifle brush will go into each of them so I showed it in one video I don't really necessarily need to show it twice you know what I mean okay I'm going to hit this with some more oil wipe it down then we'll get to the frame and handgun itself